This is about a country you never heard of. Before the president was named Lincoln. Before cowboys and gunslingers. Seven years before Johnny Reb fired a single shot. of Boston Corner. As far away in Massachusetts as you could get from the city of Boston, we was just a dozen farmers living on a forgotten tract of no man's land. We had no government, no courts, no taxes, no police. We was on our own, all right. On our own to host the scoundrels, gamblers, rapists, and thugs hiding from the law. of them. We lived every day in fear. Then, in the spring of 53, the state of Massachusetts cut us loose. New Yorkers is what we was to become. Take in the rain. They need a day to dry out. We ain't got a day. God damn it. I told you so, Mr. Brandt. Shut your fucking trap. Problem was, didn't mean beans till the government made it official. Nearly two years later. So, for that strange slice of time, Boston Corner belonged only to itself. With the coming of law, these scoundrels decided they was gonna throw one last party that would make my country part of history. A history most forgot. Well, I'll never forget it.
What happened, woman? Turned useless as a wife? Taint no good for work? Huh? I hate the stink of this shithole. You always bullied me and her. Nice to see you changed your ways. <laughs> it's quite a palace you got set up for. What's that for? Nah, no, I'm some equitability while we talk. A talk? I'm guessing you're visiting because you missed the smell of cow shit. You mess up and let New York take in Boston Corner. Thought you had friends in Albany. Oh, the swell from the big city. Now you know everything. Yeah, you blew it. Got about a year before that bill becomes a law, then where are you? No more horse stealing? Your whole operation goes to hell. You're worthless. No use to nobody. Yeah, well, maybe it's time for retiring. The truth is you've been slipping. Rusting up in these hills, no competition. Not like the dog-eat-dog -dog big money of the city. Why are you here, Spike? For your own rusticating? Or did the gangsters run your cheating ass out of Gotham? Oh, it's gold, old man. Pure gold. Oh, looking for gold in iron country. My son's a genius. It's a sure thing what I come to offer. You'll either be smart and make one last big score, or stupid and die the rube you are. You heard of old Smoke Morrissey? Sure. The fighter from Troy. Headed to be in champion. Looking to fight Yankee Sullivan for over a year now. You know your man Irish Benny in New York also fixes the fighting game? And I met Morrissey while running between New York and Troy. And that Harlem train now runs through here coming from New York. And? And. And pure gold. I'm gonna fix it to have the fight right here in Boston Corner for the goddamn championship of the world. They'll come by train loads, by boat loads, by foot. It'll fetch the law up here and start all manner of noise. But I'll be strung up for heart stealing. Thank you, Rube. We can pull up stakes at a moment's notice. Cross the border to any three states. Where are you fixing to put on this frolic? Vosburg Farm. There's that meadow near the depot. Vosburg will run you out. What the hell's he gonna do with thousands of tufts from the five points in the Bowery swarming in here? Thousands, huh? Sullivan and Morrissey. One month. Our show, old man. Our money on the shore winner, our cuts from all the side bets. Spike, are you staying? Did you come here to ask me or to tell me? Don't mock this up. Your chance to go out in style. A king. I'm already a king.